Hold Sport is a specialist sports and outdoor goods retailer trading countrywide through the Sportsman's Warehouse and Outdoor Warehouse brands. The company plans to start trading its shares to facilitate the exit of its majority shareholder, Ethos Private Equity. Hold Sport has 51 stores in South Africa, a market cap of 2 billion rand, price earnings ratio of 13, and a dividend yield of 3.4%. Good dividend yield there. Yeah, so it has listed now. It's been on the market for a year. That's why the chart doesn't go any further back than that. Um, but the story here is it was listed before as more sport. Then it was taken private by Vestacor, which was the Rubenstein's private equity fund. They sold their stake on to Ethos. Ethos decided they'd enjoyed a good return with the retail market doing so well. They're going to bring it back to the market. Same CEO, Kevin Hodgson, all the way through. I like it a lot. It's small, 2 billion rand. You know, we've been talking about companies with 30 plus billion rand. Sportsman's Warehouse, I like the sort of mixture of low end price sensitive stuff as well as the sort of focus on replica and related areas. I like the sort of warehouse type concept because I think that gives you the space to really move lots of stock. Outdoor warehouse, that's all fine. So, and the price to earnings ratio is still relatively low. Good, I'm glad you're leaving something for Daniel to say there. How do yeah. you feel about Hold Sport? Um, so basically, it's, it's quite small in the space. Um, Coming back again to relative value, it's trading at a forward PE of about 10 and a half, 11 times compared to 14, 15, 20 times for the rest of the space. Um, you might want to make an argument to say that's because it's more similar to a furniture retailer than a clothing retailer and they trading at about a seven times forward. I mean, if, if you look at their equipment sales, I personally don't buy into that argument uh, because the furniture retailers are on credit. I think furniture is a very different purchasing uh, uh, decision in terms of buying uh, weights to pump your muscles, like I'm sure Paul has done. Um, <laughs> I love it when the guests start abusing him as well. This is, this is the trend I'm starting to establish on hot stocks. You're going to be crying after these shows, Mr. Tehran. So, All right, so. Yeah, I mean, so top line, good growth. Um, margins are great. Cash flow is excellent. Uh, not much to fault on the business model then? No, no, not much to fault. Uh, the only thing is that they are susceptible to imports. And that obviously makes them susceptible to the currency, which, as we know, has weakened substantially. So what you, need to do, what, you, what you would need to do now is to bring in equipment at a higher cost and sell that to a constrained consumer, which some people are having quite a bit of uh, difficulty with. Mm. Look, there is plenty of competition in this space. In fact, MassMart tried to buy these guys a couple of years ago before they came back to the market and was prevented from doing so by the competition authorities. And MathSmart, through its macro and its game stores, also moves lots of you know, cheap bicycles and uh, gym equipment and so on. They own that brand First Ascent, which was a Cape Town-based business which manufactures specialist sports equipment, and that is also susceptible to kind of import pressures. So there is that. But again, relatively small, so it's got a lot of road to grow, and they can open lots of stores still. And the if you wanted to play on this sports theme, this may be a good one to jump into for the longer yes. term. Yes. The only thing that I did notice that caused a very slight alarm bell was that both Kevin Hodgson and one of his other CEOs sold 10 million rands worth of stock each last week in the open market. So I'm not sure well, that's that never a good thing. related to something or other, but it was nonetheless them taking money off the table. Did you notice this big sale by the directors? Uh, yes, yes. It was about 10, uh, 10 million each, as Paul says. Uh, that equates, however, to about 5 6% of their overall holdings. So in terms of a nominal amount, 10 million is quite a bit. Uh, maybe they wanted to go on a nice holiday, I'm not sure. But it's but not a vote of, of no confidence in the company. It's not, a, it's, not a, it's not a vote of selling out 80% of their stock. I think we've got to go to hot or not on hold sport, unless yeah. you've got something else to talk about. No, like I also like that other executive director, Tony Harburger, which is a woman, by the way, and uh, she was involved with Total Sports before and is a very experienced executive in this area, so that's another plus. Yeah, I like it. I think uh, I'm definitely hot on this one. Daniel, hot or not on hold sport? I think, uh, I think the company is well positioned. I think it's got a nice small store base. I think uh, Total Sports is about 30 stores. Outdoor Warehouse is about 20 stores. So even if you add on one store, that's still 3% growth. So you can get nice growth just from that. Um, I, think that I think that they will be able to pass through that inflation reasonably. So I think that you're going to get good top line, good dividends. I'm still hot on the stock.